morning all. I've just had a bath, washed my hair, I've just put it up in a bum because we're going to go and take the dogs out for a walk. Um, and Ash needs to post some parcels off. I've spoken to Sue's. She had a a slightly better night than she did the night before last. Um, but she did have, you know, quite bad night sweats. But she did say how much of a relief it was to be able to, you know, wake up in the night and and be waited on hand and foot so they stripped her bed stripped her she got washed and in back into a nice clean dry bed um because obviously she's gone through some sort of menopause now but i think they have spoken to her about some sort of hrt but it can also cause issues um but it wasn't something they spoke to her about at, at the beginning which i think they should have you know, in hindsight, you think, why why are they missing so many things that they should have been helping her with? But anyway, she's, she's had the conversation with them, I think. And I think she's just going to live with it and, and deal with the, the night sweats and things like that. But she's told me I don't have to go up to her today. Um, what I wanted to do today is, I didn't tell everybody because I didn't want Sue's to worry, but Tiny T... Our little rabbit was really quite poorly the last couple of days. We were going to take him to the vet this morning and he's absolutely turned a corner. He's totally fine now. Um, he had a bit of a tummy ache and it was just a bit subdued. Um, it, was, it was probably fine, but we, you know, how much we love our animals so much that if they're, if they're a little bit off, you know, I think they're quite poorly and I'm, I want them to be better. But he's just skipping and running around and and being his normal cheeky self again this morning thank goodness we've been up you know through the night with him checking on him and he seems a lot better so what we want to do today is try and get the outside enclosures done now that the well I'll say that the rain's cleared up it looks like it may rain today the grass is still quite wet but we've got you know patios and um the outside enclosures can be on some hard standing as well as on the grass with the runs um, so that they can, the rabbits can be outside more. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're house rabbits. They love being inside with us. They, they're interacted with all day, every day. You know, if you don't see them on the vlog, sometimes we get a, we get a comment saying, oh, the rabbits must be so lonely. They're not, they're with us all the time. <laughs> they're, they're played with and cuddled and loved all the time. Um, Ash and I are fortunate that we're not out for extended periods during the day. So, but we we still want their outside time to be the best it can be. If I could put a roof over my entire garden and have them just out, then I would. <laughs> but um, we do have big in, big runs um, that we can sort of bodge together and attach to the hutches. That's what we're going to try and do. Uh, and again, they're never they're never left alone. They're all fully predator proof if we do nip into the house, but we want the rabbits to be secure and safe outside um, when they are outside. So yeah, we're going to take the dogs for a walk uh, and then just see if we can get some of the garden done. And then I've told Suze if I if I do go up, I'll let her know that I'm, when I'm on my way. Um, again, thank you for all your comments last night. You just you're all amazing. I. I nearly lost it yesterday and, and reading through your comments and chatting to you lot brought me back down. Chatting to Sue's brought me back down. You know, no one's no no one here that I I know personally is is going through what she's going through. So it really puts it into perspective that I need to just not get so overwhelmed with other people's problems or my own problems because at the moment Susie is the only one that matters to me you know everybody else is has a healthy body that is that's that's okay but yeah 
Let's take these doggies for a walk because I can hear Dave paddling on behind me wagging his tail. <laughs> A lot happier this morning. Yesterday the little man had trapped gas from eating a cabbage, which is quite a common thing, uh, but if it's not dealt with properly you can uh, can lead to quite some severe medical issues for them but um, just giving him belly rubs every so often in a certain way just to alleviate the gas and I didn't know but it actually makes him fart as well which is quite amusing but this morning we uh, give him his last little belly tickle at about three o'clock and then when Emma got up um, he was right as rain so after we've cut the grass, we'll let the little fella have a run round and then he's let his sister Cookie come out in a bit. Have fun, Munchkin. So as you can see, Tiny T's out in his little, uh, in his little run, or big run for him. Um, the hutch that we have, we don't really, well, we don't use any of the hutches to be fair, because they're both inside. But what I want to do is connect a hutch onto the run so while he is outside, if he decides that he wants to go and sit in the shade for a bit or just to go and sit up the top and have a look round or something like that, uh, I want him to be able to do that, especially now it's coming warmer. Emma doesn't know I'm doing this at the moment, so I'm going to try and bodge something together so it is secure. So, yeah, I'm going to give it a little record just so you can see how I'm bodging it and see what I'm doing. I am absolutely terrible at DIY. Emma will tell you exactly the same. Um, but we'll see how we get on. I just want you close to me. Though we have a rivalry. We've been on this battlefield. Will you just take off your shield? Please just take off your shield. Out of food and gasoline. Fighting like we are machines But we 
we're just scraps and broken wheels So would you just take off your shield Please just take off your shield So I'm not fighting anymore I'm throwing all my weapons down On this bedroom floor So be my honey once again And let's be lovers till the end Remember how the good times feel. Unfortunately, like a typical bloke, I forgot to put the ramp into the hutch. Time for the most important thing to go in. Don't we, mate? You're gonna go and see a new house. Look <laughs> how lovely you look in there. That's the first. <laughs> That's the first little housing renovation done. Do you love it? Oh yeah, and what we're going to do is we can get that hutch and add that on and then add another one on and then another one on and then add them to the sheds and we'll make it all massive, won't we? Yeah! My handsome boy! Hello? Can I... Hello? Can I come in? Hello, can I come in? <laughs> Hello, little man. He's running. He's so fast. Do you love it? You're rubbing your chin over it when uh, telling everyone that that's your new playpen. I'm a clever boy. He's a clever boy. I love you. Wow. <laughs> Sun's come out, mate. Don't be cheating. Down here. Don't be cheating. Back to the start line. Come on, ready? Go. <laughs> ready? Go. <laughs> ready? Go. <laughs> On your marks. Get set. Go. Oh, you little cheater. <laughs> On your marks. Get set. Go. <laughs> Good boy! <laughs> you funny little man! You funny little man! <laughs> I'd like to give some super super thanks to someone who gave us super super thanks so that's gina martin thank you so much absolute sweetheart we love you to bits thank you so much i've had quite a productive day really um now i'm fibbing I've, i haven't done a lot ash has done it all <laughs> oh that's my boy <laughs> can i have a kiss please not an air kiss, I want no one a real one. 
want a real kiss. <laughs> <laughs> With my cheeky chops. Go on then, down you go. Now I've got another one here, Minky Moo Moo. So, yeah, no makeup, haggard hair, missing my Sue's, but she says she's okay. She's being looked after. She's told me to have a day or a weekend with my babies, which is what I've done. I just spent all day playing with the dogs and the rabbits. So I think, I think Ash wants a takeaway. So we'll have a look at what to order. Sorry if today's been boring. Again, keeping it real. <laughs> keeping it real. You alright there, Dave? <laughs> what are you doing, Moo? Moo Moo! <laughs> Don't, y'all... Being cheeky to Dave. Get him, get him, get him. <coughs> really big meanie. So yeah, I'm going to end the video here. I'm trying to see if I can uh, do something exciting for you tomorrow. If you're wondering why that looks blue under there, somehow I dyed my top. <laughs> dyed my white top in the wash. So yeah, love you all lots and I'll see you tomorrow.